Update 9.19 releases at the end of May. It will bring interface changes, new vehicle models, female crew voiceovers for all nations, and guarantee that this summer with World of Tanks will be hot. That's because the beta testing for ranked battles starts soon. Now, on to the details. Important stuff first. Ranked battles. What are they? At first glance, they're similar to random battles. A familiar 15 versus 15 face-off. You need to destroy all enemy vehicles or capture their base to win. That's where the similarities end, and the differences begin. Ranked battles are fought only in Tier 10 vehicles. The matchmaker assembles teams in a special way. Its goal is to match up players of the same rank, so that they are roughly equal in skill. Ranks are earned in ranked battles. They depend on the personal efficiency of a player. When a team wins, the 12 players who earned the most XP will get a chevron. Please note once again, not all players on the winning team, just the top 12. To earn rank 1, you need to receive one chevron. For each following rank, you will need more and more chevrons. You can receive a chevron even if your team loses. The three best players will receive one alongside the winners. All other players will lose a chevron. So, moving up the ranks is a two-way process. You can rise, but you can also fall. Good news, you can't lose rank 1 or rank 5. If you have them, they will remain until the end of the stage. Let's get back to the matchmaker. It aims to set up a match with players of the same rank. There can be a situation where there are not enough players. Then the matchmaker will soften the requirements and assemble the teams with players of different ranks. Their number will be proportional. If there are three players of rank four and 12 players of rank three in one team, it will be the same in the other team. After battles, players receive more than chevrons and the standard XP and credits. There are additional rewards. For example, given for getting a new rank or completing a special mission available only in ranked battles. However, players will receive the most interesting rewards at the end of the separate stages and the season overall. These are bonds, the new in-game currency. It can only be earned in ranked battles. With bonds, you can buy improved equipment that is more effective than standard equipment. Or you can spend them on directives. Directives are a new type of equipment. It improves the equipment mounted on a vehicle or boosts the crew's performance. You can only use one directive on a vehicle. This is consumable equipment. It will disappear after the battle. Ranked battles are held in seasons. The test season will have four seven-day stages. At the start of each stage, the ranks will be reset. The result achieved during the seven days will be added to the rating. After the end of the season, the result for the last 28 days is total. Then, a table with the leaders of the seasons is formed. Three leagues are formed from the top 50% of the players, and they will receive rewards and a special badge. You can display this badge next to your nickname and show other players your rank. Ranked battles will appear in the game about a week after the release of Update 9.19. The rules of ranked battles are not final. This is the beta test of the mode. Contact us if you think we can improve something. This is general info about Ranked Battles. Visit our website to learn more details. In Update 9.19, 12 vehicles received HD models. The British Excelsior and Electo. The Chinese IS-2 and Vickers Mark E Type B. The Soviet T-44 and KV-13. The Japanese STA-1. And the champions of this HD batch in 9.19 are the French. There are four vehicles. BDR G1B, Renault FT75 BS, Renault FTAC, and Renault UE57. The models of the Panza Kampwagen 7 and VK7201K were reworked. They were very much alike. Now their differences are more obvious. The interface was changed significantly. The missions tab appeared in the garage. Now they are divided into three sections, events, missions, and missions for the selected vehicle. Completing events will require significant effort and time. Missions include tasks that can be collected in a group based on their context. For example, daily missions. The third tab shows all missions available for the vehicle currently selected in the garage. The specials are now available in the store menu. You can seize these special offers right in the game client.
The new update brings more options for clan management. Now you can distribute gold from the clan treasury, view detailed player statistics, change clan positions, and hand over clan management right in the game client. Female voiceovers were added for all nations. In the settings window, national voice notifications are now known as commander notifications. Select them and your voice notifications will correspond with both the nation and commander's gender. If it's a female commander, your tank will speak in a female voice. Enemy armor is damaged. The Brothers in Arms and Sisterhood of Steel perks became compatible. Now you can have a mixed crew without any loss of their efficiency. That's all for now. Good luck on the battlefield.